You're watching Racing to Win, Hong Kong's twice weekly preview show, and we're looking at Sha Tin on Sunday. We've seen the Class 1 race prior to the break. We're going to look now at race number six, which is a Class 4 over the 1,200 metres, and it lines up this way. Happy Fat Cat carries an extra 14 pounds for his last start win. Mr Majestic has a shadow roll going on. Prince of Porty, an extra six pounds and 200 metres for his debut win on the 21st of January. Module Construction has a wider draw. We've got first starters either side of him. Green and white, three trials. Packing present below him, six trials. Cool Blue's been back to the trials since finishing down the track at Happy Valley last time. Smart Leader, he's been racing OK at his last few. Trust me, draws 12 again. Snow a lot's likely to be running on. And Smart Beauty coming back in trip from the 16th to the 1200. Now the speed map here, Tom, with uh, interesting runners like Green and White coming into the race. We've also got uh, Prince of Porty, but a noted leader in one Happy Fat Cat. In, they'll be hoping with uh, Prince of Porty that Happy Fat Cat uh, will set up uh, something to chase uh, for him uh, this uh, time around and uh, he likes to go forward, he's got barrier four, Jack Wong on the board. Red Titan might be able to be a little bit closer this time around, got a long way back from a, a wide draw last uh, time out. Uh, module construction's drawn a little awkwardly, uh, Paul, and uh, Cool Blue, uh, he had to be used up uh, in sort of uh, the early stages last time out and was deemed disappointing. He's still green, Cool Blue. He's not the finished product yet. You see him in his track work. Look, I, th I think uh, Green and White, who's one of the first starters, he might have to go back. Uh, he has gone back in his trials. Packing Present, another first starter. That, those two have sort of gone back. Easy Snip should get a good run, and he was a bit unlucky last start. But uh, as far as the speed map goes, the horse we're going to focus on first... He's that one. Number three, Prince of Porty. One start, one win. Zach Purton on board that day. He rides again on Sunday and here's Zach with Nick. Zach, Prince of Porty made arguably perhaps the, the best first impression on, on debut. Goes to the races again on, on Sunday. Stepping up in trip this time as well. Yeah, we trialled him around the corner uh, recently. And although he was on the wrong legs, he seemed to trial quite well. He's drawn a good gate. He's going to be in the right spot. And I like the way uh, he went first up when he had to dig deep and, and find he certainly did that he was he was up for the task so you know he's a horse that uh, I think has got a a bit of bit of uh, of a will to win so hopefully he carries that on just visually I suppose on the performance last time it, it would seem perhaps that it, there is that little bit still to, to work with um, do you think going up and trip will, will bring out a good bit more in him yeah so I was a bit surprised first up because he'd shown a lot of speed in a natural speed in his barrier trials and for whatever reason on race day he took a while to get into his stride and, and get comfortable so he was a little bit further back off the pace than what I expected but when I asked him he continued to lengthen and he got to the line strong so we're hoping over the 1200 metres he can take a more comfortable position and hopefully it helps. I guess that's aided from, from gate two you've got a bit of pace a couple of doors down with Happy Fat Cat so you should get a, a lovely run into it shouldn't he? Yeah, hopefully um, he shows his customary speed and gives us something to trace and he's in good form, so he's a nice horse to look at. In the two he beat, we saw Cheval Valley at Happy Valley on Wednesday night and Flying High also runs over the 1,000 metres again on this card. But, Paul, back to the race itself. We've heard from Zach. What did you make of Prince of Port? The area is there. You can't miss him with that huge white blaze that he's got. He's a flashy horse, isn't he? I, I thought he won really nicely here. And I thought the best part of this was he's still green and he was learning. But the best part, I thought, was the last 100 metres. Now, it's just going around the bend, I suppose, the query. From barrier two, as Zach said, he should get a perfect run just in behind Happy Fat Cat. So as long as the bend doesn't hold any problems, I think he can win. You can see he really attacked the line strongly late to here. So that would suggest going up and trip uh, here this time round should be ideal from, for him going from 1,000 to, to 1,200 metres on that evidence. And there's his report card to Tom. There's just ones everywhere. Yep, there is, since uh, he's going to get a lovely run through from barrier two, uh, 29 days since that uh, effort uh, last time out first up. All right, our next replay features Happy Fat Cat. That's him there turning for home. He's been practising this after failing with Astrologer last week. So that's Happy Fat Cat. And we've got Smart Leader at Tom. He's been going all right, Smart Leader. He's been getting back and running on. There was plenty of money for him this day. He was green lamped. Yeah, Zach Purton was on board last uh, time out, uh, Smart Leader, and he's jumped off for here to, to stick with the uh, Prince of uh, Porty. He, he, was, he was making a bit of ground. His last was, uh, win was in class five off 39. Happy Fat Cat, Paul. Um, Pierre Ong's taken him from a rating of 39 up to 58. Isn't he going well, this horse? He's won two of his last three as well. 
He's up in weight though here, isn't he? He had the apprentice claim last time, 14 pounds more, 135. I think he just might struggle. He just lasted there, didn't he? He did indeed, uh, did uh, Happy Fat Cat. So that's that too. Now we're staying at Chartin, uh, Paul, and the replay here features module construction. There he is on the inside. And the other horse in this one is Red Titan. He had a perfect run in this race, module construction, but it was a strong field. He bumped into the inform and impressive Supreme Lucky, who also runs at this uh, meeting. He does have a slightly wider draw, though. He does. That's the query. Look, he, we saw on that speed map, I think he can get across outside the leader. Um, he might just have to work a little bit to get there. That was the point making in that map. But look, Red Titan, uh, look, he's drawn a lot better in Barry number five. He drew 12 here and got too far back. So I think he'll be a little bit closer. But of the two, I think module c construction can improve on this. So I've, I've put him in on a minor line. Yeah, I didn't mind him for his first up mm. run there because his trials have actually been OK. And he ran well at a, a decent price. I'm going to include Red Titan on that effort as well because with the better barrier draw this time around, I, bring, I think that brings him into calculation. And Barry number five for Red Titan. He had 12 in that replay we just saw, and that was 1,200 metres also. Next up, uh, Tom, now Easy Snip gets held up for quite some time down the straight here. He eventually is able to get through, and to his outsiders, trust me, who's not having a bad season at all. So... It's interesting to see what he does, Easy Snip, when the run comes because it's not there for a while. Yeah, and so he just had no luck at all until sort of the last 200 metres when he was able to dive through and uh, challenge them late. Uh, only was just denied there by uh, Happy for all. You can see him. He still can't get out here. Trust me, it uh, loomed up. He's got barrier 12 again. He's on his about his right mark, Paul, but uh, barrier 12 again, a little tricky. Yeah, I think it is tricky for him. I'm going to include Easy Snip, though, because as you said, he was pretty unlucky. And once he hit the line, he did hit it strongly. So I think... I think he has to go in. Okay, that's a good report for Easy Snip. Now we've got Snow a lot here, Paul. This is uh, him in the white colours. He's able to come through in between horses. Also in this race is Mr. Majestic. He's well back in the purple and red. Are you making a case for either of these two? No, um, I think Mr. Next. Majestic. <laughs> he'll get back. Um, uh, look, Snow a lot. I mean, the second wasn't too bad, Snow a lot, but there's only one one, and that was on debut. Uh, a few uh, a while ago now, so look, it was a better run from maybe he's getting there, but look, uh, he, he didn't make it in for me. He went to attack Baby Crystal late, so he did to snow a lot, so um, he was right on the cusp of uh, going, and he's only been defeated by a short margin. Mr Majestic in that race never travelled. OK, so that's uh, those two. Now here is a first starter, Tom, green and white, and there he is up against the outside. Good owners, they've named him after the colours he wears. <laughs> and uh, module construction's coming down the middle. Yeah, and he, he's uh, a son of smart missile, is uh, green and white. Now, that's uh, module construction, as you mentioned. This was before his debut run. But green and white uh, here, 200, uh, rather 325,000 out of the Magic Million two-year-old sale. He's been looking good in his trials. This was the trial down the straight two trials uh, ago and uh, looked to do it really well, uh, Paul. So... Look, I think off the, the evidence we've seen at the trials, we're going to see another one shortly. Um, he's been looking good. He has looked really good. He's had the three, 11.75 pounds. The only query is the draw, really, barrier number 13. He might just be a little bit further back than he would like. Uh, but, uh, look, he, he does look smart. And uh, as he hits the line there, that's really the only trial where they've allowed him to run to the, the post in front. The rest, he's been hard held. Here he is at Happy Valley, and he's over on the outside there, Paul. So uh, in this one, he ended up running seventh, but he wasn't asked to do anything. No, he wasn't. And you can see he was held up here. So from 13, uh, with, with the pace with Happy Fat Cat uh, in the race, I'm sure he'll go back. Uh, and look, you can see him doing it nice and easy here. So it was just a maintenance trial, really. Educational, really, I'd say. And if they have to sit three wide and with some cover, sometimes on the A course, the three wide line at Sharton's not the worst place to place to be. So, uh, look, Barry 13, not ideal, but I think he's got big big chance. How good's this man's horses going at the moment? Tom, Ricky, you and the debutantes are going as well as the rest of the stable. They are 50% winning strike rate there from his uh, PPGs that he's lined up for this season. He's still got plenty. He's got uh, 14 uh, named horses that are yet to debut uh, from his uh, stable. And he's had 12 uh, winners across the last 10 meetings, three on Wednesday. He's low flying, isn't he? he? The stable's going so well at the moment. So, I mean, this looks like a, a really promising uh, debut from him. He's green and white in. He's in for second. I just thought Prince of Porty might get the first run on him, but um, he's got two versus 13, and Prince of Porty with that run under his belt. Uh, I've gone him over green and white. Easy snip unlucky last time in module construction. 3 5 12, 6. I know he's got a, a sticky gate, green and white, but I'm going to take a chance with him to uh, run over the top of them with the pace in the race. Over Prince of uh, Porty, he's got the, the race form next to his name. Module construction and red titan from a better draw. 5 3 6 and 9.